All right, welcome to another episode of the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a basic React component that's going to output, you know, actually onto our page. So we're going to start off here by installing React. Uh, so I'm going to go over into our um, console over here. And basically, I'm going to do npm install React, React DOM. Uh, and then save. This time we're using save because React and React DOM is going to be a dependency that we're going to use, um, you know, in our app, like when it's running in the browser. Uh, so yeah, uh, once that installs, then what we're going to do is we're going to create our first component. Okay, so here we are in the entry. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave the import style.css here. I'm going to remove this document um, thing. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to create our first component, which is class uh, hello react extends uh, react component. And then uh, I'm going to open up, uh, you know, this class over here. And then here, what we need to do is import react from react. All right, so once we have that, uh, what we're going to be able to do is just basically use it like in here and it'll work. Uh, so the, the most basic function in the React component is the render function. So let's go ahead and implement that. All right, so here we are, return. Uh, we need to return uh, a div. So I guess div ID, hello, React, just like that. I'm gonna close out the div. So let me talk a little bit about JSX. So what you're looking at over here is actually JSX. It's, you know, it's actually, you know, it looks like HTML, but it's actually um, stands for JavaScript XML, uh, JSX. And so what we can do here is we can do all kinds of cool stuff as you will see later on. But all we wanna really do here is just output some kind of text. So hello from React, great. So now what we're going to do is we need to call this in our DOM uh, and to do that, we're gonna do we're gonna need to use a render function. So import render from React DOM, just like that. And then now we can actually do um, we can actually use this. Uh, so React, so actually render, and we can do something like this. Hello React, close that out. And then here we can do, um, so what we need to do is in, in here, uh, we need to create a div, like a root app div. So we can call it div uh, ID uh, root app, something like this. Uh, you can call this whatever you want as long as you reference it correctly. So we're going to copy this ID here, go into entry, and I'm going to do document dot get element by ID and paste the root app in like that. All right, so uh, this should do it. Uh, so I'm gonna head over here and do a reload and uh, see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna do inspect over here. So we have an error over here. It says export is not a function. Aha. So, okay, so it seems like the problem is coming because I'm not excluding the node modules uh, and the borrow components over here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy this over here. And uh, over here, I'm just gonna paste in the uh, exclude just like that. And then I'm gonna restart uh, Webpack over here. And uh, this should work. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a reload over here and see if that works. There we go. So um, yeah, we need to make sure that, um, you know, Webpack is not building all the files. So, uh, you know, by default, it's gonna build everything. Uh, so in this case, we're just gonna ignore uh, the node modules and all that stuff so that it doesn't, you know, include all the stuff that we didn't write. All right, so that now works. Um, so that is basically going to, you know, be the end of this episode. We got everything working. We got our React app working. Uh, in the next couple of episodes, we're going to be looking to build a full-on website. So we're going to start off with a very basic website. Then I'm going to slowly introduce you guys to the new concepts in React. Um, you know, I'm going to show you guys how to structure your app. 
Uh, this is a very good point to save your project, uh, you know, like commit it into GitHub as a starting project. Um, I also would like to mention that I have a, um, a start project for those of you uh, who just want to, you know, get started quickly. Uh, so what you can do is you can fork and clone this project. It's a very simple, very minimal project for getting started with React. And it has some of the already, you know, some of the, um, you know, basic structure that I currently use in my uh, React app uh, that you can follow here uh, very, very easily. So feel free to fork this uh, if you want. Uh, it's very minimal. It, it, it's, as you can see here, it's for development only. And as I work along and as I build the app, I'm gonna introduce uh, production configuration and how to you know, make sure everything works really nicely and optimized using Webpack. Um, but that's gonna come later. But this is a good starting point for you guys uh, if you're following along. Um, you know, this is very close to what we have, uh, what, what we're finished. All right, guys, if you like what you saw here, be sure to check out the first three episodes of the React Foundation series. Uh, and don't forget to become a member. Uh, that's how you can support our channel and support uh, our, our company and our business uh, to keep us producing more quality content. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one.